Well, Indonesia Central Bank, Bank Indonesia, plans to launch a digital currency, the digital rupiah. The central bank has released the roadmap within a white paper on Wednesday, the 30th of November, that explains the publishing mechanism as well as the distribution plans. Now, during Bank Indonesia's annual meeting held on Wednesday last week in Jakarta, Bank Indonesia's Governor Peri Warjio said that the digital rupiah will be the only official digital currency in Indonesia. The project is dubbed Garuda and will publish the digital currency in two ways, wholesale and retail. Now, the wholesale digital rupiah can only be used by parties appointed by the central bank, while the retail digital currency can be used by the general public, just like any other paper money or coins, just in digital form. So from Indonesia, where the government is planning to provide subsidies for purchases of electric motorcycles in a bid to encourage motorists to shift away from fuel-based motorbikes. Now, the Indonesian government is still drawing up the details, but so far, a subsidy of 6.5 million rupiah could be provided for every purchase of an electric motorcycle. This electric motorcycle subsidy could be in effect by sometime next year. The government is also looking at other options on subsidies, including the possibility of covering the cost of purchases of electric vehicle batteries. And meanwhile, the Indonesian Minister of Maritime and Investments Affairs, Luhut bin Sarapanjaitan, said recently that those wishing to replace their fuel-based motorcycles with electric motorcycles could also receive a subsidy. This is all part of the Indonesian government's push to develop its electric vehicle industry. Many local Indonesian companies and auto companies based in Indonesia are already producing electric motorcycles and vehicles, while a number of electric vehicle battery factories are currently being built across the country.